welcome back to the vlog it is the start of a new week for me the first work week back <laughs> I'm a little tired to say like, hey, baby. <laughs> hi boys okay dogs are fed there's ice rolling my face i'm sorry if you can hear them in the background um but yeah it's gonna be a full week like for me working wise i think i'm just gonna do like a few days in my life because it's just too much for me to be bring the vlog through like the whole week so i'll just do a few days in my life um i have really nothing crazy planned if i'm being honest it's just like getting back into the swing of things with work i did sit down and do some of my clinical inbox on thursday during my vacation so that i wouldn't be super overwhelmed today when i came back so I'm sure I have a full schedule, but yeah, let's have a good week. So the AC is out at work. Um, <laughs> AC is definitely not out in my car, but I'm wearing a sweatshirt right now and I need to definitely not be wearing that. Um, I should have planned on showing up a little bit later, honestly, and just done my work at home before nine but i didn't i am gonna listen to an episode of crime junkie on my way to work i know it's weird that i like listening to this i don't know what it is but one of my favorite things about vacation is that i like load up on a bunch of podcasts that i haven't listened to so i'm like have several um like i have a full well i was gonna say i have a full week of the morning of the toast but they definitely haven't uploaded all week so i don't but i have so many podcasts to catch up on mm -hmm. Obviously evening time. I am just doing my skincare routine and I thought I would just do like a little recap of the day. Um, this morning was like so chill until 11 o'clock and then literally all of my patients showed up at the same time and they were like heavy patients. So I think like my, my 945 showed up at like 815. She thought her appointment was at like 845. So I kind of like got a little bit of head this morning, which was nice. Um, but then, yeah, like I said, and everything was going fine and I like wasn't doing anything. But like I was looking at Botox stuff through the Allergan website for probably like almost an hour. Um, but then everything happened and my 11 o'clock patient showed up late and I still saw her and I didn't finish up with her until 12.30. And so then I booked it to the gym. I did a quick little back and biceps day and then went back to work. And then I literally sat at my desk until 2.50 because, and my patient started at 2 o'clock because I had a new patient um, scheduled at 2.15 who was just a lot. And I literally did not finish one note this afternoon. I saw nine patients because I came home with nine encounters. That's how I know I saw nine patients. Um, so yeah, it was kind of crazy. Just like a lot of heavy patients, um, which makes sense because I wasn't here last week. So their follow-ups were all probably pushed to today. So anyway, that was crazy. And then I have been like, I want to start doing more Botox, but I would like a little bit more practice where I do it on like patients who are actually paying me to do it. So I did some on my boss this afternoon just on his forehead lines and it went really well. So I want to do, we have a lot of students at our office. So I'm going to see if any students want to do it. And then I'm going to start doing Botox, I think in the evening, like after five, just kind of on my free time um right now and then go from there kind of like build up my clientele with that i'm not gonna do filler right now i really just want to like perfect botox and then move on to filler i think i might want to attend a class about filler i don't know i'm not sure so we'll see about that um but yeah then i just came home seth made curry for dinner which you guys saw and it was like a chickpea curry it was really good with like some non bread that we put um, a little bit of olive oil, salt, pepper, and garlic on, and then toast it in the oven. It's chef's kiss. And then I worked on a um, brief or a brain that I'm working with, so I had to send him a concept. I balanced my checkbook, like while we were watching a movie. Um, and now it's like 9.30 and I need to get ready for bed. I'm reading this book right now. Uh, what is it called? I'll have to show you guys when I get in bed because it's really good and I really like it so far.
be doing it, I'm gonna do it, or we're just really not gonna care about it. I'll save $80. Yeah. Who's <laughs> got a bird? Oh, it definitely stink a Rooney. It definitely stink ours. Who's he? It's so beautiful. Good morning, you guys. Happy Tuesday. I'm having deja vu. Just taking my vitamins this morning. I take ritual multivitamin. Um, actually, I take the prenatal vitamin because I'm not on a foolproof foolproof method of birth control so I don't take a prenatal vitamin um, just in case <laughs> and I have for years um, I also take an additional vitamin D3 so I do not get enough sunshine in my normal life So take the beekeepers natural probiotic um, complete gut health I'm just waiting for my coffee to brew this morning It was one of those sleeps where like you're unconscious and you wake up and it's like and then it's the next day. Sometimes I'll like wake up in the middle of the night and I slept so good last night. So I just made myself a pot of coffee and I need to ice roll my face. That's what I need. My hair is looking so red because I was at the beach all week in the chlorine pool and in the salt water and I had just gotten my hair done so it's about time that we do a mask on it again or do a tone on it again. So I think I'm gonna do that. If not tonight, tomorrow, because I'm not sure when I'm gonna wash my hair next. I should wash it today because it is really dirty but I don't know. The on the agenda for today is work. I'm gonna go to the gym during lunch and hopefully get in a good leg workout and then um, I'll go back to work this afternoon. But this evening I have a few campaigns I need to film and so I plan on doing that. And yeah, I'm really tired this morning. Coffee is made. Now time to get ready. Do some open gyms. So. Gouges. So I have a Tuesday. <laughs> oh, thank you. Did you do one some? Did you eat dinner, Hooge? Yes. Oh, it is good boy. A little post work game of fetch. We just had dinner. Playing fetch with the boys and then I'm gonna film some content. Seth made dinner, so it is my responsibility to clean up. And there's a lot. I think I'm gonna put on a show. I don't really have a show that I'm watching right now that I can think of. Um, we did watch the last few episodes of the new season of Jack Ryan that came out, but um, I haven't really been into it that much. Like, I don't think it's that good, <laughs> so. I don't know. Netflix is such a bust these days. I just need something on in the background and I don't really feel like having Gossip Girl on. I guess we could do a little recap of my day while I'm trying to find something to watch, but um, everything went pretty smoothly today. I feel like I didn't see that many patients this morning. I had a lot of patients on my schedule and then I ended up having like a lot of people cancel or no show. Um, so I finished like all of my notes before I headed to the gym and then I did a um, hamstring based leg workout through Whitney Simmons Alive app. I've been really liking being into that again. And then my afternoon was fine. And then it's always like four o'clock and I have 
so many more patients left to see like that just keeps happening to me um but i wrapped up everything by like 5 15 i finished my charts and then um we have a lot of students in our office so to help me get some experience some of my students are gonna let me do botox on them so tomorrow i'm doing a botox and then next wednesday i'm gonna do botox on them and then yeah <laughs> i am like the thing about Botox is I feel like everybody thinks it's easy and is it an easy job? Yes, but like the face is so complex and like the muscles, the vascular churn, the arteries, the nerves and like how, so technically Botox Cosmetics, like the actual like Botox brand is only approved for glabellular lines, your forehead lines and your like crow's feet and they're approved for 20 units on your forehead lines, 20 units on your glabellular, glabellular lines, and 24 units on your crow's feet. So everything else that you see people doing is off label for Botox. And that's not a bad thing. We use medications all the time for off label things, but like learning that is difficult. <laughs> and like learning that you can put like a unit here and a unit here to help with um these like indents and i haven't even touched into filler yet so yeah i feel like everybody thinks it's so easy and it's just like kind of a throwaway thing um and you can pick it up in a second but there's a lot of issues the face is like very complex like i said and you know a lot of females we are looking to have kind of like this brow arch and if you inject botox too close to this brow arch you're going to cause a drooping um and everybody's facial anatomy is different and everybody's musculature is different as far as like if their frontalis muscle is stronger um if their procerus muscle is stronger so that type of thing sometimes men tend to have like larger foreheads and they tend to have some lines up here that can get um indented and so it's a lot <laughs> um but anyway that was my day i came home seth made like Kind of an asian inspired meal for dinner it was um white rice green beans and some air fried tofu with like soy sauce um and it was really good but it's my responsibility to clean the kitchen i filmed a few tiktoks and i have a brand deal that i need to film um i have two brand deals that i need to film and i'm just not in like a filming mindset tonight so i feel like i might do them tomorrow and i might just like watch some videos on botox tonight um yeah I'm trying to decide if i should wash my hair do you guys ever do that like my hair is so dirty but i just don't want to take the time to wash it because it takes so long to wash my hair and then to dry it because it i don't have a ton of hair but okay i feel like i i have very fine hair but i have a ton of it i hope that makes sense but I guess I'm kind of getting delirious at this point. Good morning, you guys. Happy Wednesday. I'm headed to work this morning. You guys know the Wednesday drill. I have a staff meeting, and then I'm heading over to our other office for a full day of patients. I don't know. I haven't looked at my schedule. <laughs> I never do. Um, very, very occasionally will I look at my schedule, and then I always regret it because then I always think about it for, like, too long ahead of time. But... Um, we're doing that and then I'm going back to my other office because I'm going to do some of my students Botox today after um, I get off of work So I'm excited to do that. I'm gonna film it. I can, I'm gonna start like posting me doing um, um, Sorry lost my train of thought um, Botox I'm just doing Botox right now, so I'm not doing filler yet, but I'm gonna start posting content of me doing that to TikTok and then to um the med spa that I that my office works through is called Zoe Zoe Med Spa. So if any of you guys are like interested in that, you can just let me know or you can look up Zoe Med Spa and um call and we can do like a consultation or yeah, whatever you think. I don't know. I'm just like putting it out there. Um so I'm excited for this evening to do that. But hopefully it'll be a good day. I think this is gonna be the last day of this vlog because I don't like my vlogs to be too long um, because it's a lot for me to edit if it's too long and I feel like around like 20 minutes is kind of my sweet spot so let's have a good day all right you guys nine or ten hours later it has been 
the most eventful day. I, oh, my patients were fine, it wasn't that. I didn't get to go to the gym during lunch today because I had an IUD insertion training and it went good. I learned how to insert um, Raina, Kylina, and Skyla. Um, so that's cool. I'm not sure how comfortable I am with it yet because I just got trained to do it. It is, it's not an, it is an easy process when you know how to do it. Like the actual steps are easy. Um, but I just, you know, I don't want to mess anything up. So I have like some practice stuff that I'm going to work on. But then after work, so after, after that, I went and saw the other, like my patients for the afternoon. I had so many televi televisits today. I really don't like doing televisits and regular visits on the same day. Like I wish that I just had only televisits on one day and only in-person visits on the other day just because it's hard for me to switch back and forth, etc. cetera. Um, but then I went over to my other office and I did Botox on two people. One, I did her, um, her frontalis muscles. I did the glabella, which is like your 11s. And then I did her um, crow's eyes, which are the obicularis oculi. So I did that. I did 38 units because she didn't want to be completely frozen. And um, so I did two and I did two in each. Yeah. I was considering doing one um, in each of the glabellas so that she wasn't like completely frozen, but I was talking to my boss and he like helped me figure out how much I should do. And then in my coworker, I did her frontalis and I just did um, 10 units. I did two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. I just did 10 units on her because she, only her forehead really bothered her and um, it really wasn't that bad at all. So that was exciting. It went smoothly. <laughs> I, everything went good, but I just get nervous that like, you know, God forbid in a couple of weeks, somebody's gonna come in with like ptosis of their eye and like one eyebrow raised. So I just, I understand my anatomy. I'm just learning where to place the Botox for different people and what are the regulations. So like when you take the Botox certification, it recommends doing only a few things, not a ton. So it's not specialized. That's calling me, hold on. You don't have to, it's show me. Okay. Okay. Cowboy caviar, tofu, avocado, hot sauce. How is it? What's the rating? April Portnoy. What if I would have married Dave Portnoy? You would have been really rich I right now. need some salt. You would have a lot more money than you right now. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> need some salt? And I'm gonna add this to carry a street sauce. Okay, but you're not giving it a fair rating because you're like, mm. you're like changing it up. I feel like it would be better on a corn tortilla because the flour. You know what I need is I need some of the sauce from the the dressing. Because mm. I feel like it's missing a little bit of that. I got you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's gonna be it right there. Mm -hmm. So you don't want that? Or did you put this on there? I haven't put it on yet. Delicious green salsa. Mm -hmm. Like and subscribe. That's it. That's it. It's the salt. Mm -hmm. It comes with the juice. 8.2. It's cone. A big lump of knobs. It has the juice. It has the juice. <laughs> Can't imagine a more beautiful thing. It's calm. <laughs> I can tell you all about it. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. That's going to be good. The avocado is necessary. I think so. I see how easily I think it would be to touch necessary. your hand. Yeah. Not really bad. I just push mine out. 
Like a nice turd. <laughs> this is the cowboy caviar that I made. You guys, it was so good. I feel like we ate half of this. Seth was gonna eat out. He's going out with friends tonight. He was like, I was gonna eat there, but this is so good that I have to eat this. So I just did that. And then I put a little bit of like some baked tofu on it, which and these are like leftover pieces. And then a little bit of avocado and some hot sauce. Sorry. Campers are playing outside and it's so hot. So he's like gonna be panting this entire time. So I apologize, but I'm just pouring myself a little dot pop. I'm gonna shower and wash my hair and then I'm gonna do um, a, a glaze. Clean up the kitchen. Oh, I need to film some content. Uh, I don't know. I, I need to film some content. I just, I need to be like facing the camera and I look like this. So like I wanna have my hair done and stuff so I think I'll just do it tomorrow, which is bad because I've been pushing it off. I need to have it done soon, so. But I will, I always, I always do, but. Anyway. We are going on Friday to um, St. Pete to stay for the weekend for um, Seth and I's five year anniversary. We're just gonna do, I think it's just gonna be Friday night actually. Um, so we're gonna do that. I think I'm gonna bring you guys along for like a little weekend in my life for that. So stay tuned. I feel bad though, cause we're leaving the dog so much. Like the weekend after that, I'm gonna be in Indiana for the weekend, just for the weekend. But the dogs get so sad when I leave and I get sad because I know they miss me. And <laughs> I'm like a crazy dog mom, so. Let's shower. I'm gonna watch a Danielle Carolyn vlog while I shower. Good day today.